Say hello everyone and welcome to another episode of 2B Release. I still don't know the intro. I'm here with Zenrot. Hello. And two weeks in a row, we're back. That's the easy... Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with us. I'm proud of us. I know. Slap we, on the we back. We've already fulfilled our obligations. We have already uh, maxed the number of 2B released uh, episodes released in the new year than we did in the previous year. <laughs> can't, <laughs> Very can't... true. Can we beat the seven releases of the previous to be released? <laughs> I believe in us. I believe in us too. But let's get that done. So, intro out of the way, Zed. <laughs> that was the intro. We did it. We did it. <laughs> I, so let's first get into it because now we got to bring up the big boy scale, and now people are probably wondering, oh. Uh, what units are they going to do? Because no new units were going to be released. Well, in that case, we'll just go back into the archive. There are literally like thousands of, well, probably not thousands, hundreds of units that need to be scaled on their big boyness. And luckily for us, there was a bunch of units released on that banner with um, uh, Broly and Gogeta. So we'll be talking about Super Saiyan God Vegeta and Super Saiyan God Goku. Tech Super Saiyan God Goku, to be specific. Yeah, because there's a shit ton of Super Saiyan God Goku. There's we, so many. And not, and still no Dokkan Festival. God damn it. So angry at the treatment of Super Saiyan God Goku by Dokkan. <laughs> Tech is, has at least has fierce battle, right? Let me do a quick check. Yes, he does. To be fair, a, a lot of other ones do too, but it's just the idea that he's not worthy of his own. That, like, constant other dudes will get ahead of him and he they deserve their own. Like, fucking Jiren, who was just the end boss of Super, gets his own Dokkan Festival. Meanwhile, Super Saiyan God had a fantastic movie, no faults in it at all. Pudding doesn't get a Dokkan Festival. Just shows you the weight of the world. Yeah, it's all about whatever gets people hyped. This makes me sad. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's start God with... Festival. Super Saiyan God didn't... Yeah, Super Saiyan God did. It's just like... I don't understand it. They should have put him on the fucking pole instead of Hit. Because then we... Yeah, probably. Then we would have at least gotten him. But I digress. Let's start with Super Saiyan God Vegeta, who starts off as... What's his name? Super Saiyan Vegeta. We will not be grading him, because in essence, all your, you're not going to be using him. You're just going to go straight, nope. straight to Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Also, if he can get bigger, then he's not a big enough boy for the scale. So Exactly. Only the final form scale counts for anything. So let's see. His name, as according to Google Translate, is Fighting Spirit of the Raging God. Which sounds like a really cool good name. fighting game uh, name. Yeah, I like that name. That's like a good Street Fighter move name. It is, actually. <laughs> that's, that's like Yeah, that's like a really good Street Fighter attack name. <laughs> It is. All right, so he's got some pretty good positives to start with. And let's see, his leader skill is energy of the superpower attribute 3, HP, attack, and defense, 100% up. He's got the big bang attack, of course, and his passive skill, god of pressure, stun with high probability, the enemy that attacked when its own energy, plus 3 attack, and no plus 3 key, and attack and defense, 100% up, all attacks with high probability that are guard and enemy of the theater version of boss category. So that's a lot of gobbledygook. But I think in essence he gets three key when uh, and at a hundred percent attack and defense when he's fighting movie bosses. Is that what it's saying? Oh no, I, I I don't know. I think movie bad guys, right? Yeah, I think the second thing is a go- is like a counter that he can maybe do. I'm not a hundred percent sure because again we are doing this through Google Translate and I do have Super Saiyan God Vegeta, but I've never noticed that other half of his passive. But I digress. The Link skills, com- Combat Ethnic Saiyan, Genius, Super Saiyan, God Warrior, God of Dimensions, Short-Term Decisive Battle, and Super Fierce Battle. So not too bad. He's not too bad. He's actually like a, as, if, as with all Vegetas, he's a weird mix of Vegeta Links and Super Saiyan Links. Yeah, Vegeta just can't escape that though, I mean... No, he can't. He will never... <laughs> it's not his fault anymore. They're never going to give it to him. The amount of dudes with combat combat ethnic Saiyan is actually kind of disgusting. 
Yeah. yeah. Also, I love that it's called Combat Ethnic Saiyan. <laughs> yeah. The name. I don't know the like uh, global translated name, but I it's I prefer the Saiyan Warrior Race. That's not as good as Combat Ethnic Saiyan. <laughs> not as funny. No, it's not. <laughs> Nowhere near. Uh. But yeah, he seems like uh. Here's my thing is that stun on a unit, it's a good thing that it's just something he can do and not a main focus. Yeah. Because stunning is something that the game actively, like, as soon as people realize that you could just use general blue to take care of most bosses, they're like, maybe we should not have stun on any yeah, of these Yeah, every bosses. boss is fucking immune to stun now, so it defeats the purpose of the mechanic. Yeah, because who, who the fuck am I going to use stun on against? at the world tournament enemy i'm not going to be using super saiyan uh god vegeta against anyone in the world tournament and then the other chance is the other one is like a random cyberman that i accidentally clicked on that i was fighting so now this cyberman is now going to be uh, stunned for a turn great yeah there's just no like practical application for it but he's super tanky he is and that's the thing that we'll get into now is that the other part of him is just super freaking solid. There's, like, very hard to, like... If you're going to be using him on a team, and if you're going to be using him, it's already nice that he supplies his own key. And it's also kind of, like, redundant, because literally his other links... He has, like, short-term battle, so it's plus three. But if for whatever reason you don't have a unit with short-term decisive battle, it's fine, because he can supply his own key. So he's a very, like... Right self-sustaining uh type of unit hmm. do you remember what his super attack looked like I'm trying to think of all the big bang attacks uh, i've seen well it's not a big bang attack in god mode band mode hmm. uh in god mode he like shoots these three little like clear blasts and then he punches them through a couple mountains and then he shoots a blast that looks like a big bang attack but it looks like fire like it's like the god key aura mm. okay it's pretty good it's pretty good yeah it's pretty good but yeah i think that's super saiyan god vegeta that's kind of him summed up how are you feeling about how big this boy is right now uh i would have given him a three out of five except his art and animations are really um i don't like the dumb face that he makes but <laughs> Uh, yeah. I really like the super attack animation. I really like the colors because they use like a more muted red. It's more like magenta than red, like the other Super Saiyan God cards are. Yeah. To match like the new art style, uh, I think I'm gonna give him a four out of five. Big boys. I think I'm kind of I'm gonna agree with you on this one, just because I don't see like a lot of fault with him. The only fault the faults I would is having stun, but he has so much other stuff that stun is just kind of like a weird thing that they decided to bolt onto him for whatever reason. Uh, of the two cards, I definitely like looking at him most. And I think he looks the least silly out of the out of the compared to the other Super Saiyan God Goku, which we will get into. But yeah, I, I agree. Four out of five big boys. If you got him, and I do have him, and he's pretty fun to use as far as i can tell it's hard to tell right now because uh um, I, because of i'm doing catch up it's on insta win because i just don't have the time i have so many gotchas <laughs> to play i need to get my shit now <laughs> if there was a skip animation button i'd be playing that way but until there is i'm gonna have to do instant win yeah at this point instant win isn't like oh i can't beat this event it's like oh i don't want to watch this event <laughs> it's just be done yeah Basically, that's that's all it is to me at this point. I just want to get it done. So, so that's Super Saiyan uh, God Vegeta, four to five big boy, a respectable big boy. Now let's go on to a more problematic big boy with Super Saiyan God Goku. Uh, <laughs> let's start with his God. I or his name in this uh, gobbledygook is Aura Pace Freely God. <laughs> Which sounds like um, if someone, like, you know when uh, someone's listening to a uh, a rap song and the rapper will say, like, random phrases and words, but, like, space in between them? It feels like that. It's like, aura. I can see that. Pace. I can see that. Freely. God. Aura. <laughs> it's like that. Um, his leader skill is energy of the super trick. <laughs> 
I know, I know that they mean uh, super tech, but the, the energy of super tricks is plus three is a hilarious thing to read. Uh, so anyway, super tricks. Plus three key, attack and defense, 100% up, and HP. God bind, that's a special attack. God of fighting style, that's his passive skill. Random one of its own energies, plus three attack and defense, 100% up, attribute. Gas ball is changed to, I forget which what is Nikki Jadama, but I'm going to guess that's colorless. Uh, you're asking the wrong guy. Fair enough. Either way, he gets attack up 70% up per one acquired from the rainbow care ball. It is 100%. It's just rainbows. And when fighting uh, uh, movie bosses, he gets 77% reduced to receive when you are the enemy of the category. So he takes way less damage from movie bosses. And his links are Combat Ethnic Saiyan, Super Saiyan, God Warrior, God of Dimensions, Short-Term Decisive Battle, Ready for War, and Super Fierce Battle. Instead, okay, he has really good links. Yeah, it's it's similar to Vegeta's, except for instead of Genius, he has Ready for War. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is classic vegeta -ing. It is. It is very much. But yeah, this is Super Saiyan God Goku. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble like trying to figure out what exactly to say to about him, only because his art is super distracting. <laughs> yeah, the art's by far the worst part. Yeah, it's the worst part, and like his, you have his card art, which is his like weird, goofy face, and then there's like a circle around him. And his his arms are like doing uh the kamehameha, kind of like face to it, but it looks weird because there's a circle, so it kind of looks like he's a part of the ring, like at any like <laughs> like if you've ever seen the ring, it kind of looks like that, like he's the monster that you would fight at the end of the ring. <laughs> uh, and yeah, then, so the, the art is is just not good. It's yeah. just not good. And then when you dodge, you get his fucking face staring right at you. So it's not good for like earnestly good, but it is kind of like bad good. Like where every time he dodges, you see he's making that fucking face at the guy that that missed him. Yes, the Dennis the Menace style face of Goku is hilarious. But other than his art, like. Oh, and he has a chance to seal the death blow in his super attack. That's one of the things he can do. I will say super stealing is better than stunning because I feel like not as many bosses are immune to it. I think. I might yeah. be lying, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Yeah, something like that. Either way, there. even if in a situation, I would rather seal the super attack than uh, have to deal with being stunned. Because the stunning... It, well, yeah, because... Stunning is RNG and Super Seal is 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it lets it, it, it's less RNG your way if you cut out the this uh the essay from being able to being launched. But yeah, the rest of him, he's like got I think it's another case of similar to Vegeta that he's just got solid stuff in him. But he's also kind of the, the the killer in him is the face <laughs> like li <laughs> like there's no easy way to say this but there's just something about his art that when you use him you feel weird <laughs> have you seen his super attack animation though no i haven't what is it it's fucking clean so remember in the trailer when uh goes rushing at goku and Goku gets him with the like the net made out of the god aura. Yes. That is what his super attack is. He like catches the enemy in his aura and then he does a backflip and he charges up like a red Naruto Rasengan and smashes it into their chest. It's so clean. Uh, so that's the kind of like looks really that's, good. That's the counterbalance of having his art just with the thing you're gonna be looking at kind of meh, and then his super attack is super good. <laughs> Yeah. It, oh God. Hang on. Let me try to find it just so you can watch it. Because yeah, oh my God. To do the due diligence of the of the. Because you also hadn't seen Vegeta's either, right? No, not really. 
Because again, I, 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 I think I found him here. Here you go. Shout out to DBZ World for po for posting both of them. Oh, not shout outs to ZBZ World for the weird music that he put over it, but shout outs to him for at least giving us the animation in a 50 second video. Well, lucky for everyone there, I've muted it, and I'm not gonna be taking this man's video because that'd be <laughs> that'd be very bad. That is pretty good. It really is just Rasen Gun. Yeah, it is, <laughs> but it's awesome. It is pretty. It's awesome. much cooler than the Rasen Gun because it's a giant explosion after. You're saying it's a combination of if Rasen Gun reached its full potential. Yeah. And then the Vegeta one also is pretty good. I should say these I guys. I like the Goku one a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna give bonus points to both of them for summoning a giant ice wall. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it is important. It is extremely important. He's straight up just doing th th flamethrower. Yeah, it really does just look like a flamethrower. Okay. That's why I don't really like it that much. Is it? It just looks too much like actual fire. Ah, uh, yeah. I see. I see your point now. Is there anything else you want to say about this Goku? I think we've gotten the basic gist of it, which is that he has a weird face, fantastic super attack, and he's pretty solid everything else. Yeah, I mean, he is the long-awaited tech Super Saiyan God Goku. Oh, man, I forgot that there had not been a tech Super Saiyan God Goku up until that point. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fuck. All right, what do you think? I think it's because it's Super Saiyan God Goku. I'm leaning towards a four out of five big boy. It's just that I, there's a part of me that specifically wants to give him a five out of five specifically because he's Super Saiyan God Goku, but I cannot give Dokkan the leeway of like, until we get a legit fucking Super Saiyan God Dokkan festival, there will be no five out of five Super Saiyan God <laughs> Goku big boy. What do you feel? I can't in good conscience give that face a full 5 out of 5. But I do think he's 4 out of 5 big boys. Yes. It's so close to reaching a perfected form of Super Saiyan God. And if we were to do a side-by-side uh, -side what is currently a 5 out of 5 big boy Super Saiyan God Goku, it's the one that was released in Legends. Yes. <laughs> that is a large boy. That is a strong, sturdy boy with good art and good punch he is everything he is everything put into one but yet yeah, those are our big boys for today so let's just to do a sum up of the big boy scale and i'm gonna try and see if i can remember all of them and in, in like a list format um we have the unofficial big boy scale rating of hit which is a two out of five big boys <laughs> <laughs> specifically because he is a global only unit <laughs> i feel like that's the reason why uh, we got the three out of five big boy in, uh, shit. Now I can't remember it anymore. I know the five out of five big boy is Gogeta. The four out of five is Broly. The three out of five is. I thought hit was the three out of five. Was hit the three out of five? Oh no, I gave him a two and then we ended up giving him a three. <laughs> that was the, there was someone that's making a list. I cannot remember just to show. When that guy updates the list, I'll look at it then, <laughs> so I'll remember it. <laughs> Shout out to, I think it is a Raiders fan is the one who's doing that. Keep I believe track. so, yes. Shout out to the list, the keeper of the list. The keeper of the big boy list, very important. It's LR Trunks. LR Trunks is a three out of five big boy. That's who it was. Fucking LR Trunks. I forgot he even existed. Exactly, so you'll forget Dock us. him some big boy points for that because he's so forgettable. We Okay, you know, update the LR Trunks. LR Trunks is now down to a two out of five big boys for being so forgettable. <laughs> <laughs> Broly is a 4 out of 5 big boy uh, Gogeta 5 out of 5 big boy and Super Saiyan God Vegeta and Super Saiyan God Goku are 4 out of 5 big boys and a special shout out to legend Super Saiyan God Goku who is a 5 out of 5 big boy <laughs> yes I sign off on that 100% then that sounds good to me now let me see if I can find we're gonna move on to questions now uh, oh. wait a minute Zen, do you hear that? Mm -mm. Oh shit, I think that's the alarm for a really watch.
Oh shit! <laughs> Hello. Does Dr. Swamp even have a theme we can put on? Yes. Without getting copyrighted? I, no. <laughs> I found something though. Hello everyone, and welcome to Aurelia Watch, the only news update that tells you whether or not Ritz of, if Aurelia has returned to Dokkan. And as of 1 2 2019, there is no signs of Aurelia anywhere. <laughs> This has been your Rayleigh really Watch uh, update, and so we bring you back to your regularly scheduled podcast. <laughs> All right, that was weird. We're back, <laughs> everyone. Man, who who was that mystery person? I don't know. You know, these mysterious people fucking invading our podcast, trying to give us the up-to-date news that we need. All right, now for real questions because I actually found them. Uh, Zen, we got like I think close to twenty something questions, which is almost double what we got last time. Yeah, you told me there was a bunch. I did not pre-read any of these, so these are going to be earnest, uh, on-the-spot answers. Yes, they are. Uh, thank you, everyone who sends them in, and hopefully we answer all of them. We should have enough time. The first one though comes from Sky. AKA Sky the Fox, AKA Scoo the Pidgeotto. Uh, she says, event you want to rerun, you want to rerun the most other than Aureli. And I think every event has been rerun at this point, right? I think they did a recent. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, Aureli actually came back a little while ago. Like everything. If there's any event I would want to come back, I want something that's so old that is useless to everyone. <laughs> So I want the original like Kid Go Gohan event to come back. <laughs> I want uh Cop Krillin. Oh uh, yeah, Cop Krillin. Cop Krillin has not returned yet, right? Nope. Poor D Free. He just has his <laughs> Cop Krillin at like one SA or something. <laughs> Though I think, you know, at that point you should he should be he should just like give him the Elder Kai's. Actually I agree. I'm gonna Well he can't the problem is he can't open the dupe has. The dupe path for an R? <laughs> for the R Krillin. Can't for open the him. R. Oh, I think he can't awaken me either. He needs medals, right? I don't think you can actually dupe path that Krillin, but yeah, he does need medals. He does need medals. Uh, I'm just going to say it right now. If we can start one uh, grass move and sport going forward, it is uh, D-Free, feed uh, Cop Krillin your Elder guys if you have him. <laughs> I want a video of him. Feeding him Elder Kai's and then making a video with it called uh, Cop Krillin, best unit in the game? Question mark, exclamation point, question mark. Yeah, can everybody please go to his Twitter page that's watching this and tweet at him, uh, feed your Cop Krillin Elder Kai's, please. <laughs> Give the cop the Elder Kai. Just that. No, uh, no mention of Krillin. Give the cop the Elder Kai. <laughs> Give the Elder Kai over to Justice. <laughs> Give the over- Yeah, there you go. Give the Elder Kai to Justice. He'll know what you mean, hopefully. He's and gonna be they- like, who, Zamasu? And you're like, no. No. Cop Krillin. <laughs> then he's gonna just go, oh. He'll eventually get it. But he needs to be on video, him doing it. I don't need a- There needs to be- It needs to be, like, for future generations to watch. <laughs> uh, but thank you, Sky, for that question. That's the event we would want where you run. Uh, next one comes from Mr. Eat Your Booty, and he asks, what was your first team? This is going back a long fucking time, because we started when uh, Global came out, right? We started before there were teams. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> basically. So I've, I, uh, I'll give you some time. I remember my first team just because it, it would eventually cause me to a path of ruin. My first team had um, Super Saiyan... Teen Gohan and and Piccolo the SSRs because I pulled them back to back, and that was when I thought that the actual rates for SSRs were very good. Look how <laughs> e- look how easy I got these guys. That's how they get you. And then following him in that team, I want to say it was um the NTN because for whatever reason he was the strongest N in the entire game and still is. And then it was um. I want to say it was SR Chiaotu and an SR Goku and I want to say the last one has to be like another SR of some kind. It might have been um, Chiaotu to go with Tian. That was basically 
what you could consider a team in early Dokkan, that's what I had. I I do not remember the full team. But I know I had uh, I had STR Super Saiyan Goku, and I had Final Form Frieza, and everyone was all pissed off because I had both of them. And even though they didn't work together at all, they were both good. So everyone was like, "Well, that's the best shit in the game." Um, I don't remember all of the SRs that I had with them. I know I had a couple of the SR other forms of Frieza. I think it might actually have been all the Frieza forms and Goku. And Goku, so that would have been a pretty solid team, I'd say. <laughs> For back as then. As far as, as back then is concerned, yeah. Yeah, definitely. But that's our first team. Back when we started, there was no idea of teams. It was just run whoever you want and maybe they link run together. Run your best shit, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't until um, Broly? Yeah, Broly came out and then he was so focused on STR that people were like, we have to make STR teams, Broly number one, best world tournament unit. And then the next unit afterwards was Perfect Cell. And ever since then, Perfect Cell has been running in a, oh, but he's also good. Look how much damage he does. And that's been his (laughs) thing since release. The nuke meta. The nuke meta, which is uh, probably probably the worst meta, right? In terms of just pure. Yeah, not even close. It was it, garbage. It was so annoying because every boss would come out and they would say like, is this nukeable? Question mark, question mark. Here's my damage. Nukes. Yeah. There were, it was covered in like, look at my nuke posts. Or uh, the alternative to that was someone would be like, hey, here's a strategy to beat this boss. And everyone would be like, you don't even need to do that. Just nuke. Yeah. It's like, is Super Saiyan Goten good? I heard he's a mini nuke lead for Rainbow. And it's like, oh, God. Society has fallen. And then it got even worse when they released. You know what? What? This is not a meta talk. That's our first teams that we could remember. <laughs> Worst meta. If I were to give a, a meta scale to, to the big boy, on the big boy scale, uh, the nuke meta would get a one out of five big boys. That's how unfun. Uh, the nuke meta gets like... A 0.7 out of 5 big boys. Yes, something like that. If only because uh, Golden Frieza ended up being uh, the only tank one, and he was still kind of used later on. But he was, it caused the worst kind of everything. But there you yeah, go. Yeah, it was god awful. God awful. Thank you, Mr. Yabuti. I will say your full name, no shorthands. <laughs> full name. You can't shorthand that name, dude. It's impossible to nickname him. Yeah, it is, Mr. Uh, Mr. Booty, Mr. Eat Ya. <laughs> just... Yeah, exactly. What do you, do you call him, Booty? You don't call him Booty, but you can't call him Eat Ya either. <laughs> like, you got nothing. Mr. Ya. <laughs> what up, Mr. Ya? <laughs> just skip out all the other part, other parts of it. Um, either way, thank you. Your name is great. Uh, this one, next one comes from Nux, at Nux, underscore, underscore, underscore. <laughs> <laughs> and he asks, best Nappa card. Uh, I believe this question was fronted because of how well uh, Nappa is in the Legend story. He's very nicely written. I have not continued the story, so please no spoilers. Someone, I understand that something bad happens to Nappa, but I kind of figured something would because he's Nappa. Yeah, there's massive story spoilers for Nappa, so you better get through the story mode. <laughs> something like that. But in terms of Dokkan, best Nappa card. Is there a good Nappa card? <laughs> There's not a good one. Uh, I mean, I guess best is relative to the others. I think there's one. There's two SR Nappas. Is that right? Yeah, there's two SSR and one two Turs. For Nappa? No, there's not. Yeah, there is. It's the Ape Nappa, right? The Free to Play one got a Tur, right? Uh, he's only got the one though. He just has the Free to Play Ape one, right? Yeah, but then he also has the um the other one, the uh the Baba Shop. They all got Dokkans, remember? Did they really? Yeah. The uh, Krillin in the Piccolo suit got a tur. <laughs> Did you... God, Goku can't get a Dokkan fest, but Piccolo suit Krillin can <laughs> T-U-R. He can. Let me oh, do, just double check to see how many T-U-R, because I need the first look up. What kind of shit links does he have? He has Toughness Warrior, so I'm just going to look up Toughness Warrior and see how many Nappas I see at the top. Okay, there's one. Okay, so there's actually only one TUR Nappa because the Ape one does not go TUR. No, he doesn't. So my He's mistake on that. 
I think by default it's that one then. Probably. Um, I mean, he's got a he's got the same leader skill as like the original God leads. He does. <laughs> Just to show you uh, how time rolls forward. Uh, I also want to say I forgot, but there is an SSR of the robot soldier from uh, Metal Cooler's event. <laughs> yep. Oh man, that's just sadness. I don't know. This is actually kind of close because the the physical Nappa, his super, all it does is supreme damage, and then his passive is he gives two key, and he has just a chance of thirty percent attack and defense to himself, which sucks. Oh but no, the... it's it's the entire team. Oh, is it? Yes. Are you sure? Because usually yes. it says that, doesn't it? No, it, it's uh, all the um, all the Baba shop units have a chance to. Um, that's why it's a chance, because it would be too good if it wasn't. Okay. Because they're free to play. That's fair yeah. then. Yeah. Uh, but the the intelligence one is twenty five percent attack and defense to all int, just flat. Yes. And his super lowers defense, and he can go eight mode. And he's and he's free to play as well, so he's easier to grind. I mean, they're both. Than, yeah, play. but the Baba Shop shit is way harder, if only because you have to constantly give it units that you and it makes you angry every time you feed it another useless ass SSR that you pulled, uh, so you can feed it to fucking Nappa. But uh, Twitter told me that the GSSR was the best thing ever. It's the it Dokkan is the most free to play friendly, uh, gotcha that there is because of that GSSR. Didn't you know that? It's true. They introduced. There this is thing. no better game. They introduced a step up banner as soon as you were all done with all your stones from the previous banner. They're the nicest fucking <laughs> company in the world. <laughs> totally, totally cool to release the super hype shit and then release a step up with the first time guaranteed LRs because their Dokkan's run by a bunch of cocksuckers. They You're are not out. wrong. So yeah, the, I'm gonna give it the physical dab because now we're just shit talking on Dokkan. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say the intelligence Nappa only because uh, ape team gimmicks are funny. Fair enough, fair enough. And I'll also say that in terms of big boyness, I'll give my dude a two out of five big boy. Feel like okay. Feel I feel like that's right for him, for being free to play. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's it's hard to get a good big boy rating when you don't cost money. It's true. It's very hard. Very respectable. Uh, you know what? He's in the uh, the tiny boy uh, scale <laughs> for free to play <laughs> units, and in the free to play tiny boy scale, he is a respectable three. Big boy, he he's not good enough for the big boys yet. He, mid boy, he's a mid boy scale. Exactly. Thank you, Nux. Uh, good, uh very good brother, I've heard. Uh, so to say. Uh, That's what they tell me. Yeah, yeah. Next question comes from Jinta and best friends, also known as at Jinta at Jinta Jill. I think I'm saying that wrong. I think it's Ginta. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm say, pretty sure it is Ginta. I'm gonna say it right. <laughs> Because I have respect for all people who sell stuff at a discount. <laughs> it's better than what Dokkan <laughs> does. Uh, he asks, what's your favorite art in Dokkan Battle? Oh, that's the first question that's actually kind of good and not like super meme First of all, Sky was asking a legit question. She just does not know what Dokkan does anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and to say, I'll say it to say, actually, Dux is the only one who's trying to meme. <laughs> The others were asking legit questions. Okay, fair enough. Uh, if it's my personal favorite art, I'm just gonna still give it. It's it's T Wire, really. It's that fucking. Right, it's the Nicha Cannon. Uh, but then okay, it's actually a, a five way tie with all the Aurelis at their final art because I, <laughs> there's Kitty Aureli, there's Poo Stick Aureli, there's Goku uh, Aureli and Goku's outfit. Aureli, there's Punch in the World Aureli. They're all so good, so it's a tie between all five of the Aurelis. <laughs> okay. Can't argue with that. That's that's legitimate. It is. What do you feel, though, Zen? Oh, man, I, I have to take a look through because there's a lot that I like, but there's not a ton that I love, you know? Yeah, I could see that. I'll... There's a lot that I look at and I'm like, wow, that's really good. And then there's some stuff that, about it that I'm like, eh, well, yeah. you know, it's okay. I'll, I'll I'll say someone answered him, so I'll give you their answer while you try to look for it. He says his is LR Super Saiyan three Goku, and the new Fee Burly. That's what that That's person. Fair. Those are good arts. Yeah, I think I slightly prefer Gogeta's art to Broly's myself. 
Yeah. Because Broly has this. Oh yeah, and that kind of shitty transformation that he has that you yeah. have to, you'll, yeah. you'll be seeing a bunch. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you know what mine is? Mine is uh, sunglasses. Say a mango. Oh, that one is really good. That's a really good one. A respectable one. It, don't you think it's super fucking weird that doesn't his sunglasses come back when he TURs? Uh, well, he, he has the cape pulled off. And... Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, he doesn't have the sunglasses on in the SS. But then when he TURs, he puts them back on. Yeah, it's the funniest thing. It's like you're going back in time. So the strongest version of him is at that exact flashpoint. And then because he jobbed the second that he rash- he rushed the, the stage, I guess they gave him away from him. But either way, the sunglasses is really cool. They should have kept the sunglasses on him in the sprite. That would have been the 100% best thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> if only. If only. <sighs> Thank you, Gen- uh, Ginta, for your question. And now we move on to the next one. This one is, I cannot pronounce this name, so I'm just going to apologize right now. It's from Primist. Primist, and that's at Primist. Uh, they say, I feel like you now, and here is my question. What do you think if they added an auction system into the game, like auctioning off units to other players? And he showed me his LR pull, which was LR Bojack. So that hit you on like a spiritual level? Yeah. Uh, and I'll say again, uh, technically speaking, LR Bojack is good. It's just that I don't want... I there are literally other LRs in the game. I would like to have the other LRs, please. <laughs> That's fair. Opening a dupe path is only good if you're looking to open a dupe path. If you're in that kind of situation, then that means you have the other LRs. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. Yeah. But in terms of an auctioning system, I think that it would literally I think like you know how there would be a crash in the economy, basically. Because if you opened the floodgates and allowed dudes like the truth to uh, like auction off his LRs, it would cause chaos into the marketplace. Yeah, there would be... You can't build an economy around sharing shit in a gacha game. It doesn't work. Because there's no way to limit people from re-rolling. So you would just have like this huge economy of people who re-roll, and then instead of selling the accounts, they just sell the units off of the accounts. Yeah. And so it causes like a buttload of problems. I understand where you're coming from. Like, it's the same thing I think I've heard uh, Truth talk about in his videos. The idea of just being able to give away a unit to someone would be nice, but uh, these gacha games are not built that way. They never kind of have been, and they never will be, just because that would be too beneficial because if someone gets like crazy number of dupes and they can give it away, then all that person needs it, it would create like a situation where people would just be begging for the cards and asking for like, oh, you shouldn't be using the dupe path. You should be giving that to a player who doesn't have it. Could you imagine the shit people would get for opening a dupe ah. path to an LR? Oh my god, dude, the Reddit would like implode. The Reddit women play was like really proud of this, and they would show their rainbow LR that they got after like slaving away. And they got it, and they got lucky, and then the first comment with, like, over 1,000 upvotes would be, oh, should have given it away. These whales are ruining the fucking game. And it's like... <laughs> fucking whales. Fucking whales. And it's like, I, the, first of all, the anchor that you should be having should be directed to the fucking game, not the people who play it. <laughs> I know it's used a lot, but literally, don't hate the player, hate the fucking game. Yeah. But people can't do that because they want to like the game, so they have to hate the player. They, it's the game is not at fault. You're just playing it wrong. You fucking whale. Exactly, fucking whales. But yeah, that's that's how we feel about the auction. It's it's a very nice idea, but it just would not work out. If they could figure out a way to do it, it would literally be the one innovation that would go forward to all their gotcha games. If they could figure out a way to do it, keep the money they make, and just keep people happy. It would be this, like, such a groundbreaking idea, it would literally shake up all gotchas. And something like that is not coming from Dokkan. Yeah, Dokkan is not changing the world here, okay? No. Dokkan gets dragged kicking and screaming into the future by all the better games. Yes, and that's the way it's kind of always been, and it's going to always be if it wants to stay. You know what Dokkan is like? Dokkan is like uh, some old-ass CEO of, like, Ford 
who's fucking inherited the company for like 10 years and he's never worked a day in his life and he just makes all this fucking money. And then some like renewable energy car comes out and he's like, wow, that's way better for uh, all the consumers and for the earth. They're really doing a good job. What the fuck? You're yeah. eating into my profits. Yeah, dude, what the fuck are you doing, man? We had a good thing what going. What are you doing? <laughs> Dokkan is Buck Strickland. Oh, God, <laughs> it totally <laughs> is Buck Strickland. <laughs> now listen up hank i'm gonna go bet on all these dokong cards <laughs> gonna need you to fill me the bill you hear what i'm saying old top <laughs> hank is uh hank is is legends trying really hard to do right by the customer clean and then dokong comes out and he's like we ain't got time for that old top <laughs> drive me downtown i sell I goku and goku accessories <laughs> Clean burning Goku. Not like the charcoal Naruto. <laughs> Naruto the charcoal of gacha games. You know, it might as well be. Oh, the, who's the Fatherton? That would be Blazing, right? That would be the, the dude right next to Black Strickland. The uh, Fatherton. Yeah, Fuels. yeah, I think Blazing would be Fatherton Fuels. And then when Hank uh, gets forced to work for Fatherton, he's trying to sell him um, Ninja Wide Voltage or whatever the fuck that game's called. And he's like, you have to leave. They won he won me in a card game. <laughs> this game's not good. No one cares about Boruto. This game sucks. Get out. <laughs> there you go. The analogy is uh, King of the Hill. That's the way I see it. Uh, <laughs> Dragalia is the Luan. It's got a very nice heart, but it's kind of stupid. <laughs> oh god! I'm trying to think of who would be the Peggy. Who is the Gotcha that thinks that they're better? Uh, than Echo the... for sure, because oh. she's super self entitled <laughs> and she feels so proud of herself all the time, and it's totally undeserved. Oh god damn it! Yes, it is. It's totally her going silencio. And let me tell you about this awesome story that we have. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's the person who will sit down and be like fate goes not about waifus and let me tell you why <laughs> it would 100 percent be that oh, i'm trying to think of like okay who's the dale who's the most conspiracy minded of all the gotchas dokon again <laughs> it would be to go back to dokon <laughs> D- dale would be the dokon fan base oh damn it you're right it would be it just doesn't make any sense. Where are the stones coming from? <laughs> Goku shot I'm from the grassy knoll. I didn't get 300 stones. Goku shot from the grassy knolls and killed JFK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's all we got. We'll come back for our King of the Hill after we've come <laughs> figured Ninja out later. Blaz- not Ninja Blazing. Uh, Ninja Voltage is the bill. Oh, it's just so sad to look at. <laughs> and cry. Sad and pathetic. <laughs> it was cool for like a day in high school, and now it sucks. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fuck me. I'm trying to think of like a game that's just super text heavy, and that would be the Boom Hour, the one that's just like literally so much fast moving action that you can't tell what the fuck's going on in it at all. And I don't think there's uh, any game like that. Brave Exvius is text heavy as fuck. There you go. Brave Exvius is the uh, is the boom hour because they just there's just a shit ton of talking. And there's a lot of things that they expect you to do and all that other things, and you don't fully understand it, but you understand it looks very nice. Yeah. At no point do you actually understand what's happening. You just kind of come to terms with it. Exactly. And that. Thank you for the question that ended up starting this <laughs> premise. <laughs> And let's move on. We got Starhan. Uh, when did you enjoy playing Dokkan the most? And his uh, at is again Starhan, but with a four instead of an A. When did you enjoy playing Dokkan the most? It's it's literally when Aureli came out and the sub was having a hissy fit because they thought that the Rainbow uh, Leader would be like Gogeta again. And it was Aureli. It was fucking Aureli. <laughs> they gave it to Aureli. <laughs> <laughs> And that was the first sign that the rainbow meta had died because they were willing to give it to a one-off unit. And then it was a great, it was just a great time because I would be like, you know, in that, um, 
thing that they got they said that there's going to be a dokkan festival coming and that there's an actual modcast where i said to you like i think there's two more coming and then you were like there's no way that they would awaken two more aurelius <laughs> and then it totally happened <laughs> <laughs> it did didn't it it was all of them yeah it, it took an entire year for them to do the tech one because uh it was um they did int physical uh blue and ag agility and uh strength and they saved um the tech one for last because it was free to play but yeah that's around the time because that was also during like the um the first god lead metas had kind of started so it was still the idea of like people there was an argument that you could have that Super Vegito wasn't the best, even though people were wrong, and Buhan was not as good as people thought that he was. He just healed a bunch. Man, Buhan really just didn't have it. No. And Buhan is falling so hard, he's doing tricks in the back of the, the propane tank of uh, <laughs> of the Dokkan <laughs> world. That's how far he's fallen he's the, off. What's it called? He's the tank wife. Oh yeah, he's the tank wipe. Exactly, he's that status in terms of uh, the Dokkan <laughs> world. It's very sad. He's the Debbie. He's literally in the back of a garbage, shot off by his own shotgun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was my favorite time. What about you, Zen? Uh, I think mine would be right around when the very first uh, Vegito Blue and Super Saiyan Rosé like mix fest came out mm, yeah because uh, there was a lot of teams you could have your mono teams you could have your rainbow teams you could do whatever you wanted um there was a lot of freedom and building teams you could it, it was just fun <laughs> and you could actually fight events and be like this is reasonably challenging yeah i didn't just do seven million damage in one turn yeah yeah that was a good time it, it was around it was that sweet spot I mean, there. I mean, there is a special place in my heart for the Gogeta meta, just because it really was just slap whoever you want next to Gogeta and <laughs> have fun. Yeah, it it one hundred percent was. And it's just Gogeta, do your thing. Yeah, and everyone else just watched. And that was the meta that was most willing to not die. That that was the people who had to kick Gogeta kicking and screaming onto the Super Vegeta team, going like, "Well, yeah, I know this is all agility, but you would run Gogeta, right?" He just run. He, he's just yeah, so man, powerful. People really didn't want to let Gogeta go. They really did not want to let Gogeta go, and it. I think that the reason why that, um, like, he's so strong, people are expecting his easy A to break the shit out of the new <laughs> Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Gogeta and Broly, and he's a unit that's yeah, literally. Yeah, they are expecting it to be better. It's crazy. He's a unit that has literally stood the test of time. It will be. We will be five years from now. People will still saying SDR Gogeta is better than all the other Gogetas. <laughs> but, thank you, Star. Don't let him die. Never. Next question. This comes from Dark Shiny Giratina. Continuing the trend of like uh, Pokemon asking us questions, which I'm a fan of. Uh, Dark Blastoise, of course, asked us a question last episode. This episode comes from a uh, Dark Shiny Giratina, and he asked, "Hey, Wokey." Uh, I'm going to add Zenra to this. I was wondering what your thoughts on the LR Trunks campaign and how it's giving extra stones to those who had them early. Do you think it's a fair reward or a slippery slope to where those who didn't grind early must be shafted out of worse than 10 stones? Um, I f always feel like those LR campaigns are just catch-ups. So if you already caught up, I think you should get something. If you were willing to do the shitty grind and get him to 777 medals and get him to LR, you should just get whatever extra you have. It's fine. Like, I don't see a slippery slope where, like, if you finished it early, you get 50 more stones. Because at the end of the day, all that's going to hurt is that if you're a longtime player, then you know you should get him to LR already. And if you're a new player, it doesn't really matter because, you know, this new campaign should be so good that you should be get him to LR real quick. That's... That's how I kind of think about it. What do you think, Zen? Uh, I guess I'm more or less the same way. Um, it sounds like rewarding people who got him sooner is mo mostly just like the only worry is if what, do I, what if I want to be lazy and I just don't want to do it right away, you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure stuff happens and sometimes you can't always do it right away. But it's not like it's not the same as they're like gating it behind money or anything. Like, it's just play the game if you want to get the reward. Yeah. So. 
if you going forward if you know that that's what they're going to be doing in the future if there's another lr like trunks in like a year or so because that's how they release those kind of lrs because they're the worst fucking lrs in the game in terms of grinding <laughs> uh you should set some time aside and be like i should always be grinding for this guy when i can uh thank you for the question dark shiny garatina next question comes from joseph at, and his ad is expert 95 and he asks do you still play dokkan if so why if there's legends now uh yes i still play dokkan it's a hard-hitting question it is a hard-hitting question he's going he's going straight for the jugular because he knows i've been playing legends um i still play dokkan I, I don't know what there's something about me that just won't give it up give it up like uh there's a I have a certain like affinity to being loyal to something when I shouldn't be. Dokkan is one of those things. <laughs> yeah, Dokkan hasn't really earned any of that, but no, it hasn't. You know. I keep it up because as in my mind when I look at Dokkan, it's a game that is not as good as I want it to be, but is also given me uh like I would not be here talking to all of you if it wasn't for Dokkan. I wouldn't be friends with Zenrot if it wasn't for Dokkan. I wouldn't have been a mod and met so many wonderful people in my life and played many other gacha games down the road. I wouldn't have a Twitter. I'd just be talking to myself probably just alone. That's what I think that keeps me playing Dokkan. It's out of is like... That, is that alternate reality, Wokey? <laughs> the the Wokey that made the opposite choice you did when you decided to install Dokkan? Yes, it's it. I just don't know what the fuck I'd be doing. <laughs> I would just... <laughs> I, uh, that version of me exists i just don't know what he would be doing because it just feels weird it's a it's something and it's i guess similar to i because there's really nothing keeping me to dokkan other than that and my Aurelius, of course which i refuse to let go until the game dies but yeah that's i think that's kind of my way of summing it up it's nothing to do with the game i do think i don't think that the game can improve itself to a point where i'll be playing it like i did in the old days but if it does that would be great but if it doesn't, it's fine. I just like keeping up with it and just talking about it at this point. What about you, Zen? Uh, kind of like you said the other day, I'm a, I'm a connoisseur now, where I usually play for about a week at a time, and I'll get the new cards, and I'll be like, yeah, this guy is pretty, and he is pretty cool, and then I'll just stop again. Yeah. Um. I don't think I'll ever be at a point where I just don't associate with Dokkan at all. Um, like you said, it's just, it's just too much of like good shit that has happened to me, and too many of my friends are part of the Dokkan community, so even if I don't actively play, I think uh, there's no real way I would ever not be at least associated with it and what's going on and stuff. Um, I do play right now. I have uh, I got a blue Gogeta and all the new Super Saiyan gods and stuff. So I've been very invested in this big boy rating because yes. those are my only guys. Um, and it's also easy to pick up Dokkan again on the fly because you can get, like, a fucking reroll with, like, every good card that's ever existed on it, like, with for no effort at all. So... Yeah, yeah, I can definitely say that. Uh, the other thing I'll say is that um, you are you are so ingrained in Dokkan that even when you're not playing, people still use your name. Like, mm -hmm. appa yeah. it, apparently it's getting to the point where, like, there's a Zenrado trick and people don't know that you started it. <laughs> and that's because... Net, I don't know that I even exist. I, I, dude, it was the craziest feeling when I typed my name into Google for some reason. I don't remember why I did it. I think I was just fucking around. And all the YouTube results were people i had never heard of and i don't think they know who i am <laughs> but all the videos were like zenrado name trick does it really work <laughs> that's great and then also you've got your own stamp in legends which is because people call him kyo god and that's specifically because of your <laughs> your meme video with kyo god yeah my kyo god doka video but like again it's just another one where <laughs> people saw someone else saying it that is like more well known than me, and so even though it, 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 the shit post originated with me, no one associates it with me. You're like uh the and someone called you like uh like you're the tall tale, you're the Johnny Appleseed of Dokkan, where you spread. Yeah, I'm the I'm the folk tale of Dragon Ball mobile gaming. Yeah, and then when we finally learn why the French hate us so much, it will be because they said uh, some guy named Zenrado disrespected our community, our French community. <laughs> He said that he didn't care about our data mining. So. 
whatever. They're no Haito. Shout out to Haito. Haito? That's his name. I, I'm not saying it right. Haito-sama? The, the, the Haito-sama? Boss. How, how did you get... There's no I in his name. Haito? I don't know. It's fucking not Japanese, dude. It's not even close to right. Whatever. How do you pronounce everything wrong? It, I'm not doing it on purpose. <laughs> I just... That's how I think it sounds like. I know. It's just astonishing that it's everything. All right. That's enough. Next question. I'm not answering this. If you wanna if you wanna have a question about why I pronounce shit wrong, send it to me <laughs> when I ask for questions. The next one comes from Connor. Oh, also again, thank you, Joseph. Uh Connor, are you guys still trying are you guys are you guys still using the podcast to try and push your social media agenda? Uh I have more people on my social media than I have that watch <laughs> to be released. Oh yeah, dude. I, I'm almost to finally almost to 10k on Twitter. I think to be released gets like a couple hundred views. Yeah, but to be fair, it's also because we have a, <laughs> they're very inconsistent. Yeah. Uh, this is actually a callback to back when we were accused of this back in the modcast days, and I think this person yeah, back is... when we first started out, I remember that. So I know I knew this was specifically a callback from to back then because we've had this question multiple times. <laughs> And the answer is always that, uh, no, not really. We're not trying to push anything. We just like to have fun. <laughs> That's the idea behind it. If it wasn't fun, then we wouldn't do it, which is why we went on a five-month hiatus until we came up with the big boy scale. Yeah, the big boy scale saved Dokkan. Exactly. The big boy scale has saved Dokkan. The savior of Dokkan, hero of Earth, nightmare to you, etc. No fat chicks. Thank you for the question, Connor. <laughs> Next <laughs> comes from... McPasta Dental. Does Zenrod exist? Can you please answer this? I need to know. Zen, do you exist? Uh, that depends on who you ask. I'm a folktale now. It's more. You're so really, it's sort of shrouded in legend. Your in mystery. Myth. You're. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said this before, but uh, you know, God unwilling or God willing, if something were to happen to me, I want someone to pick up the Wookie mantle and continue on. <laughs> Like nothing happened? Yeah, like nothing happened. I wanted to do it like all for one dish shit where if I die, then it gets passed <laughs> on to my brother. And he has to not make any reference to the fact that I've passed. He just continues making videos and no, never brings to a, a mention to the fact that I've passed away. And he just continues on. And just con- like, you sound different. And you, no, I don't. No, I don't. It's, and then so it goes even further to where like now I'm like 200 years old and I'm still alive, but I've just changed bodies. <laughs> it's like Nux's uh, children yeah, exactly. are making videos under your name. Yeah, it's I'm like the doctor regenerating every time. So now I'm a girl for some reason and it's never really brought up. That was actually an old joke that I wanted to do back when we were going to start doing videos, by the way, is that I had a friend of mine, uh, I wanted her to record uh, something with me, and I would have. I was going to pretend to be um, you, and I was going to say, say your name is Wokey, <laughs> and you're going to be a girl, and this was after Modcast came out and said, like, uh, it was, um, I was a guy. Because oh, right, everyone thought you were a girl for a long time, didn't yeah. they? They did. So then that would have been the reveal of, of actually, this is the real Zenrod. The other guy was just some Mexican dude that Zenrod found to pretend to be me. But now that I'm here, let's talk about this. <laughs> let's talk about Dokkan. And then she would have to talk about a game that she did not know anything about. <laughs> and I, I can never work it out, though. I can never get us together in the same kind of a room. She is one of the many people in the Mew Mew Force that have gone unheard. But I thank them because they're my friends and they put up with my bullshit. <laughs> uh, thank you for the question. Yeah, that would have been funny. It would have been. Unfortunate. Can't do it now. Too many people now. Thank you, McBasta. Next question comes from El Drago. If Dokkan were to try and implement a skip feature, would you would you envision it as something at fit or do you, which is Fire Emblem Heroes, does when they skip animations or something else? I think just do what Legends does. Just like Hit no pomp. Hits, please. Like, no pomp, no circumstance, just here you go, this is what you get, congratulations. I don't yep. need anything else. Just give me the skip tickets, I don't I don't need to click the bubbles. Yep. Uh, just give me the skip tickets. Thank you very much. And thank you for the question, El Drago. That's our basic thing, just give skip, skip tickets. This one comes from Jose Colon, or Colin, I don't know. I, now you're making me second guess everything, even my own people's language. 
Do you think that there should be a Super Saiyan God Goku as a new Realm of Gods leader in the future since Battle of Gods was the one who introduced God forms and all that? Hell yes. 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 See back into There's like an hour ago. Everything good happens to Super Saiyan God. Everything good. Yes. We must protect this form. It's the best form. Thank you. No, thank you for the question. That's how we feel. <laughs> this comes from Dark Zekrom. A lot uh, of dark Pokemon. A lot of evil Pokemon out there. I know. And funny enough, this has uh, the um, green lady from Fire Emblem. The one that's in Hector's game. That I can't... Lynn? Yes, it, Lynn. So it's a you know real double for it. But do you think the Aurelia units should get easy A's? Yes. <laughs> Just give it to them. <laughs> Every, all of them. What kind of... Of course. Yes. Do you think Aureli? The answer, Wokey, yes. Thank you for the question. This comes from Raiders fan. I believe the keeper of the big boy list, and we've given him quite a Herculean task with all the random big boys that we've dropped throughout the entire podcast. <laughs> but it says, what way would you want friend summons to be improved on? Um, I actually have a legit question. That I have a legit answer to this. Um it's something that actually Fake Go added in in um, Japan recently, but they had a filter on the summons. So if you summon stuff, you can filter it and stuff that you don't want to see anymore, you automatically just burn it. So it's like, okay, I summon, I was looking for this one specific like um, unit or print on it. I only want that. Burn everything fucking else because I'll and I'll deal with it later. So all you do is just get all this stuff and it auto burns it for you. And I would love that for Dokkan because there's so much useless shit in there. So just burn all the Hercule statues the second I get them. Burn all these shitty N units. Burn all these R units. Burn all these SR units. Just give me the the new LR that you've stuck in the friend summon. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Yeah, that's what I would like. What would you think? Uh, put shitty old SSRs in there. That's a good idea too. And take them away from the main banner. Yeah, there's absolutely no reason someone should do a multi on the Gogeta blue banner, and their guaranteed SSR is that Goku closed Gohan. It just should not happen. It should not happen. Yes. Thank you for the question, Raiders fan. Next question comes from Kref, and it's why is Legends so much better than Dokkan right now? Um. It's a good question. I think the someone who is every has, reason, all the reasons. Like the only thing that is shitty about Legends is something that like might get improved on in the future, and that's the fact that Beerus is just in a ticket, and he's not apparently that amazing of a unit from what I hear. But that he's might all mad. that might all change in the future. That's something that I hope doesn't get kind of passed on, because I don't like the idea of like a unit only being behind a specific ticket, but. It's not like a game changer. It's just something like hopefully this is a one-off kind of deal. <laughs> but we'll see. Yeah, for like big celebrations, I guess I'm okay with it. Because, I mean, you're pulling on that banner anyway. Yes, exactly. You know? But I, I don't want that to start being a a the banner no. staple. Where they're like, okay, who are we locking behind tickets only this time? You know? Yeah, and, and that's the thing that literally benefits no one but the extremely lucky. Like, like you could wail and it you would still probably not get Beerus. Yeah, I I, I have a six star version of every one of the three main feature ones, and my Beerus is only three star. So Yeah. Just goes to show that you. That means I only pulled two Beerus the whole time. Yeah, I think that's kind of one of the reasons why. Um it's just able it's like Legends was built on the fact that it doesn't want to be like Dokkan. And so it's very easy to just kind of be on Legend's side because it's so much not Dokkan. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you for the question, Griff. Next one comes from that one Jake guy, and he asks, "What type of, what type of unit would be man with the shotgun card be?" Um, I don't know. He'd probably be a dude. <laughs> Is there a unit that would just die instantly? Because <laughs> that's all he really uh... ever did. I mean, he'd be tech, wouldn't he? Because, I mean, shooting is a skill. Okay. He, train that. Um, all right, let's go with that. I, I could definitely see him as tech if they were going to add man with a shotgun because eventually they're going to run out of DB units if they're not going to be pulling from heroes constantly. <laughs> but there you go. There's your question. Thank you for... There's your answer, I should say. Thank you, that one, J-Guy. 
Next question comes from Super Bright Adrian. We are almost done, I swear. <laughs> There's a lot of questions, like I said last time. <laughs> uh, he asks, what does fake Go have that Dokkan doesn't? Uh, this is a question only I can answer because Zen has no interest in playing fake Go. The answer is, in terms of the real legit answer is a good story and it's uh, free to play banner is better than Dokkan. And that's kind of all there is. Man, people really want me to play that shit. I don't think you'll like it. If you don't like the fact that Gralia has you doing the same thing, that's a lot of what fake Go is. And that's just not your thing. Like, you, like even if the story is good, you have to have a certain affinity for fate to like it, I would say. So it's really just not for you. That's how that's how I feel. And if anyone wants to try to start fate, they can definitely try fate go and see how they feel. But it's something that's like a huge investment that like once you're in it, you kind of get dragged into this other shit. And some people just don't have the time for all that. <laughs> but yeah that's what fake go has that dokkan doesn't it's good story and it's also their banner structure is different in that almost every unit is limited so you don't have the problem of there's a bunch of shitty units that are always on recall when instead what you have is that you have too many units that aren't on constant basis so you pull a lot of the same unit when they're called being like you get spooked by them because they're like you don't want them and they scare you because they you get them instead of the unit you actually wanted and you go god damn it why did i pull this person but yeah that's basically it the the non-serious answer is uh he doesn't have a giant mexican woman that summons dragons damn shame that i know if only dokkan had that i would play more uh, thank you for the question super bright adrian Next question is from Noah. If Dokkan started doing seasonal variants of units, he says they won't. <laughs> Aside from the occasional holiday login bonus character, what seasonal what seasons would you like to see? Halloween. Straight up, Halloween. <laughs> I don't Yeah, I want Halloween and Christmas. I want both. Yeah. Like that are not just SA units. Um Dokkan has a bad Dokkan is bad with their seasonal variants, because every time they've tried their April Fool's joke last year was shitty. Because they gave you a female unit that would you would actually like to use, and there's no animation behind them. But then they give the fucking Cybermen an animation that you can actually use in battle. <laughs> so Dokkan has just no <laughs> ideas. Move. Yeah, I would want Halloween though. Halloween and Christmas would be pretty cool. That's basically it though. I don't like. I think it'd be funny if we had like an Arbor Day Krillin. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck that would be, but it'd be great. <laughs> Valentine's Day Cupid Krillin. There you go. Uh, give the LR that D3 finally wants. And it's the Valentine's Day LR Krillin. It is just going through the years of him failing to get women. And then finally at the end, he's with Android 18. His uh, second to last uh, essay animation is him fucking up and Cell <laughs> eats Android 18 and attacks somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it'd, it'd be the longest essay animation of the entire game. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the question. Next one comes from a weird way of saying it, but I'm going to say it's Giovanni. What's your favorite card on Dokkan, not counting Aureli? Um, uh, that's a good question. Probably that new Chi-Chi that got released, just only because there's very rare female units, and I like the old design of Chi-Chi before she was a kid. I like it's the teenage Chi-Chi, basically. The one that fights Goku in the world tournament. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So I'll say I am also a fan of Chi. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll say that one. It's a very simple, like, uh, I value cards more than just attack, bu uh, like, punchy dudes. So I'll go with that one. What do you feel, Zen? Uh, I like the new... Um... Wait, this isn't art, right? This no. is just favorite cards. Favorite cards in, in general. Uh, I like the new tech Super Saiyan God. Yeah, solid. Thank you for the question. Next one comes from Sweater Weather. I'm not saying that right. Sweater <laughs> Weather. God, this is going to break me, isn't it? Sweater Weather. <laughs> Protection Predictions for a 2019 Dokkan Fest and whether they'll be good or bad cards. Uh, they'll be OP like every other <laughs> like Dokkan Fest unit. 
<laughs> yeah, every who's your dad? Every new Dokkan Fest is good. The only exception is um the future Gohan, who that was more of a thing of time. Time eventually killed him. It wasn't anything he did. Uh, but I don't know who the fuck they would have. Uh, like uh, again, LR Broly and LR Gogeta. I thought they were gonna release them <laughs> last week, but it turns out they did it. What do you think? Yeah, Zach? who knew? What do you think? Oh, maybe uh, also an LR Ultra Instinct actually. Yeah, it's gonna be something busted. I, I want LR um, Kaioken. Let's get the full on Kaio God back. <laughs> Back at yeah, it yeah. I, that's what I need. I need LR Kai. I want a, a duplicate, like a pairing card, and it's LR Kaioken Goku and LR Kaioken Chi Chi from the Garlic Junior Saga. <laughs> I would love that. That'd be amazing. That's our predictions. Thank you, Sweater Weather. And now we're going to move on to Sunshine, who asks, What's the unit you can't seem to pull? I'll say any LR that isn't Bojack or Broly. And Zen, I don't I'll think this. Say, uh... The new Broly, because that's the only one I've tried to pull and didn't get, so... There you go. Thank you for the question, Sunshine. Uh, that came off way more uh, weirdly like... <laughs> came off weird, but that's your name. That's the name you have here. <laughs> yeah, like that came off as like a... 1930s yeah. detective, like, thanks, Sunshine. <laughs> but thank you. Next one comes from Positive. What were the darkest times of Dokkan? Does, I guess, now count? <laughs> It's either yeah, everything after Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta came out. <laughs> How I'll about that? I'll say actually Super Saiyan 4, uh, Goku and Vegeta because that was the first time they blue balled us on the Super Saiyan God. We were we were so sure it was going to be fucking Super Saiyan God, and those motherfuckers went with the ugly ass Super Saiyan 4 uh, dudes. Oh man, you poked the the hornet's nest there. They can fucking poke me all they want. Everyone knows that GT sucks. <laughs> Anyone that doesn't believe that they live in a weird fucking world. I watched that Man, recently. But people really like uh, tight pants and mullets, apparently. Sure. That fashion is really in. I understand that. They're the lucky of the DB world <laughs> from uh, <laughs> King of the Hill. They are. They like to go stumping. I like to <laughs> go stumping with my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. He got so much defense. <laughs> He's going to help me right there. That's what GT my, fans My are. pappy always said that the best offense was a good defense, honey. <laughs> now you're... <laughs> All right. That was, that was Lucky and Jojack. Yeah, Lucky and Jojack. My two favorite character pairings together. <laughs> I want to see this stump, honey. <laughs> Let me take out my Goku. My <laughs> Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh... <laughs> uh <laughs> thank you for the question positive uh counter asks another question would you sacrifice 12 months worth of dokkan fest cards for a new Aureli? i'm gonna stop right now yes next question yeah, why yeah you, there's not even a question <laughs> oh oh for new Aureli cards that are actually put in the normal pool the answer is yes like i would i don't think people understand what i would sacrifice i would sacrifice literally like uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. If they asked me, would you remove Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta? Everyone that has them will no longer have them, and I would say yes. <laughs> In a heartbeat. And people would hate me, and I would not give a shit. <laughs> you would be the biggest, like, most hated fucking guy on the planet. I would be that cat that has a knife being pointed at him. <laughs> that would be me. And I would love it, because I would have Aurelia again. Thank Could you for it be the... that meme where it's like, would you push this button for a million dollars, but someone somewhere in the world dies? And then it's just you smacking the shit out of the button for more, <laughs> really. And it's that before they even get to the part, the second they say, but I've already pressed the button. <laughs> Thank you for the question. And the final question comes from Alan, who asks, do you think this year we will get units that have never been released, like Garlic Jr., Gohan Ape, Goton, 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 Goten, Super My Saiyan GT. Character. Uh, that was an accidental fuck up of Goton, uh, Goten, Super Saiyan GT, or oh, and I'll also add in this guy, which is the giant fucking robot from World's Strongest that I got, Doctor Wheelio. Doctor Wheelio. Doctor Wheelio. My bad. That's another name. Don't I just we can't... technically have a Super Saiyan GT Goten? He's just possessed by baby. 
Yes, I would say that that's the only unit on there that is technically released. Um, see my previous answer to my statement on any new GT cards. <laughs> the only GT. I'm just waiting on Kaioken Chi Chi over here. Yeah, I think like the Okan's really got to up its waifu game. It 100% has to up its waifu game. It's trying, but this is what happens when you started waifu off as a joke meta, and now we can't have serious units. Yeah, now you can't give the actual waifus like a problem. I know. Uh, I'm still surprised they've never released a Garlic Jr. Like I'm the, not that surprised. I am. Like, he got literal filler time. He, like... <laughs> He's been in stuff. He's like maybe the only movie villain. They got the fucking movie villain from uh, Curse of the Blood Rupees from Dragon Ball in there. Why not Garlic <laughs> Jr.? Uh, I, I feel like Garlic Jr. is such a meme, though. But if they release him, it'll be like some stupid shit where the card Super Zack is like opens dead zone and then you lose or something. That would be kind of amazing if his only attack was opens dead zone, lose. <laughs> and then you fucking And then you lose. Garlic Jr. is immortal, but if he gets attacked too many times, then he automatically loses. <laughs> oh, that would actually be a good counter. Like, you have a unit that literally can't take any damage, but if he gets hit enough times and the dead zone opens, then you automatically lose the fight. <laughs> He just loses his temper and opens the dead zone. Exactly. Like, that's the only way to technically win. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a war of attrition. Uh, that's the final question. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I, they have to release new dudes. That's just the way to the world. I just don't know if Garley Jr. will ever see the light of day. We'll probably see Dr. Wheelow before we see Garley Jr. He'll come with Dokkan Fest uh, Kaioken. Yeah, same banner. <laughs> uh, and that's a lot, the last of the questions. I'm going to be asking for more questions on Monday. I'm probably going to have to start cutting them off because I did not expect this many questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, save them. Save them up. So maybe we do like 10 an episode and then we can have more for the following week. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but thank you for everyone that sent them in uh, and everyone that the reason people send them in is because obviously they expect us to actually do to be released. So it's nice to know people are waiting for it to come back. So thank you all. I've been Wokey. I've been with Zenrot. It's time to say goodbye. We are really off kilter with these intros and outros. We are. I'm just going to say, say goodbye, Zen. That's my actual. That was, that was a very Susian outro. <laughs> See the, the the thing is is that the outro to, to be released to be released is me saying say goodbye Zen. <laughs> it's that's I've never noticed it till now, but that's my my go to like okay, it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye Zen. Bye everybody. <laughs> goodbye. It actually comes from. Do you remember when um, puppets where they'd say good night Gabo, good night Gabo, and then the, the <laughs> I've been waiting for you to say good night Zenrod. I've been waiting over four years for you to say goodnight, Zedron. <laughs> and you fucking never say goodnight, Zedron. I have never done it. I don't even know what that is. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>